What are you doing? I wanted to show you something. <clears throat> That's Harold, my husband. Handsome chap, wasn't he? Why do you think I'd be interested in the love life of dinosaurs? Because that's the reason I know you're making a mistake. That doesn't make any sense. My marriage was a marriage of convenience. But I really grew to love him. And I, I told myself that he'd grow to love me too. And one day, I'd see that look in his eyes. I really don't need to hear any of this. When I saw that look, it wasn't for me. It was, it was for someone else. <sighs> So Harold had a girlfriend. Surely you're over it by now. It wasn't a girlfriend. I suppose that's why it took me so long to realise it. It wasn't even legal then. The love that dare not speak its name. Of course, I could never admit it. I was still lying to myself and anyone else who suspected it. His name was Lawrence. And when we met, I was glad that Harold had such a good friend, someone Someone he could go to the pub with. But it was so much more than that. I'm ashamed of how jealous I became. Maybe you're the one person who can understand that. I just wanted Harold to look at me the way he looked at him. Just once. But he never did. I said... Really sad story, Edna, but I don't see why it's caught to with me. Well, I, I can only think that the reason you've given up so much for Adam and are willing to do even more is because you're in love with him. <sighs> well, I'm not. It's all right. I, I, I won't talk to anyone else about this. Your secret is safe with me. No, look, I've, I've always known Adam was straight. We're just mates, that's all. <laughs> we can none of us choose who we love, but I also know we can waste our life loving someone who can never love you back. And I don't want you to make the same mistakes I did. I don't expect you to understand, but things are different nowadays, Edna. Me and Adam can be mates, and that's all there is to it. Who are you trying to convince? Would you just drop the subject? I know it's hard to face, but... he's never going to love you back. And the longer you wait, the more it's going to hurt. Oh, just shut up. The thing is, you're so wound up in him, you hardly notice the people who really do care about you. Look, if you're going to tell me that I should have been there for my mum and protected her from Cameron, then I already know. I've already had that thrown my way. But it's over now. He's gone. She shouldn't need me anymore. She will always need you. <sighs> And if you'd have seen the way that Paddy spoke to me, you, you'd know how much he cares. The truth is, Chaz and Paddy will always be there for you, long after Adam's gone. The best thing for both of you is that Adam faces up to what he's done and pays the price, and, and you put all this behind you and get on with your life. Go, go. What about the police? I'll take my chances. Thanks for not giving me away. This time. <laughs>